believe it or not, it's been over a decade and a half since Travis Tritt and Marty Stewart hooked up for their infamous No Hats Tour. The two recently reunited for an acoustic revival of their double bill in Savannah, Georgia. And based on the reaction from the fans, I don't think it's going to be the last time we see the two of them on stage together. I'm proud to be from the country. Now how about you? That's country. Whether you call it double trouble or no hats, the on and off pairing of Marty Stewart and Travis Tritt has developed into quite the musical brotherhood over the past decade and a half. Baby, that's my style. We both come from small town America and we both come from the same type of background. You know, he's my brother. When we made the Whiskey Ain't Working video, we hardly knew each other. But we shook hands, we held each other's neck, and promised each other that Right then and there, we said, you know what, when we're old, when we're old, and when we're gray, and we're ugly, fat and bald, and nobody cares about us anymore, we'll still be brothers. We will always be brothers. And that's the way it's been. Man, it's never changed. I'm up in Nashville, Tennessee, honky talking women I try. We, we had an opportunity to do the, the tours in the past, but we never wore out the Travis Marty welcome. Travis and Marty headed down to Tritt's home state of Georgia to open the Savannah Music Festival, a show that was originally scheduled for Marty to perform with his late friend, Porter Wagner. Tonight was actually supposed to be a show where I presented Porter Wagner. Porter got better off. <laughs> he went to heaven instead of Savannah. Marty and Travis first played together on the original No Hats tour in the early 90s, which proved to be a wild and rowdy outing. But this time around, the show took on a totally different, stripped down approach. Travis because we don't have anywhere to hide. There are no bands up there tonight. Wow. Right. And we're picking up, not trying to pick up where we left off, but we're actually starting at a very fresh, honest point up here. In the words of the late Merle Kilgore, our brother, say? we are buck naked. <laughs> But no matter what the setting, fans were just happy to see their on-stage chemistry again. I think they bring out the best of each other. My mom were excellent guitar players. I guess they just kind of belong together. You see some of Travis, you see some of Marty, and then the things they've done together. So it's like you get three shows in one. Well, they just feed off of each other, and you never know what they're going to do. It's just going to be both of those talents together, and it's just going to create something magical. As my dad would say, we hit it all. <laughs> That's right. From the very beginning. From the first time we shook hands. That's a fact. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? And when the two do get together, the camaraderie isn't just confined to the stage. I woke up this morning and thought, what's that feeling? I thought, it's that I smiled all day yesterday, hanging around and my face hurt and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been a little Right. Marty and Travis are a different act, and it like Porter and Dolly, a couple of billions. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have not been invited to the Billy Graham crusade this year. No, no, we haven't been good enough. Lord that. knows they could use us. <laughs> As for another No Hats tour, the dynamic duo of Travis Tritt and Marty Stewart could hit the road by the end of the year on a tour with yet another catchy name. Tonight it's fools on stools. <laughs> so far as to say he is the new face of the Grand Ole Opry, but we will. He's earned it. It's great to see those two guys back together again. Well, from the annual Music Row tradition known as the Springtime Stroll, take care, everybody. Oh.